Hello friends, today I'm going to be giving you guys an Herblore money making method. So we're going to be making the Guthix Rest Tea. This requires the completion of the One Small Favor quest, which requires the quest Rune Mysteries, Shiloh Village, and Juridic Ritual to be completed. And you must have 36 Agility, 25 Crafting, 18 Herblore, and 30 Smithing. For each Guthix Rest Tea, you're going to need one bowl of hot water, one empty cup, two Guam Leaves, one Marinta Leaf, and one Harlander Leaf. So to actually make the teas, you're going to want to have at least 18 Herblore, which is one of the requirements for the One Small Favor quest. So if you've got that finished, you don't have to worry about anything. Then you're going to want 14 bowls of hot water in your inventory and 14 empty cups. And then you're going to want to arrange them the way I arrange them. So I like to arrange my bowls of hot water and my empty cups in this fashion because it'll help minimize your errors. For instance, after you've put your bowls of hot water into your empty cups and you start putting your herbs into those tea mixes, and you accidentally hit two Harlanders on one tea mix, that tea mix will go bad and you can't use it in a Guthix restoration potion. I'll show you what I mean later, but for now let's get on to the process. So basically you're going to use one bowl of hot water for each empty cup, just like this. And once you finish your inventory, you're going to bank the bowls, and then you're going to get one herb out. It doesn't matter which one. I usually like to start with the Guams, so that I can get the Guams out of the way, and then the Harlanders, and then the Marintals. So, then you're going to bank your bowls, and then you're going to get 14 Guams, and then you're going to do the same thing. After you've got your 14 Guams in there, you're going to withdraw another 14 Guams, and then put those into the tea mixes as well. After that, you're going to go in and you're going to get your Marintals out and then you're going to put those into the tea mixes and then after you've gotten the Marintals in, you're going to put the Harlanders in and then you have a Guthix Restoration Potion 3 after you've finished all of that. Okay, as you can see, I have 14 Guthix Rest 3 tea mixes. What I like to do is I like to decant these, so you're going to go to Bob the Barter at the general store in the south uh, western corner. You're going to right click on them and then you're going to hit decant and then it will make these into 4s and then this into two if you've done 14, which is one inventory. And then I'm gonna go sell it and see how much I can sell it for, and then check the profit. Okay, so when I sold it, I got 21,030 GP from the 13 Guthix Rest 4 potions, and then I have one Guthix Rest 2 potion left. Usually what I like to do is bank this one, and then in the next inventory, when I get the other Guthix Rest 2, I'll decant those and I'll get one Guthix Rest 4. So I'm gonna count this as one half of one Guthix Rest 4. So in total, I actually got 22,081.5 GP, so let's just round it to 22,081 GP. Alright, now I'm going to show you what happens if you accidentally mess up clicking your herbs on the tea. So let's say you're just making your tea like normal, you use your bowl of hot water on the empty cup, you use your two guams on it, and then you use your first marinsel, but you accidentally click on the other marinsel and you hit the same tea mix that you've already put one in, you get a ruined herb tea. And this has no use. Basically, you just wasted around 1k GP and then you just lost it. There's nothing you can do about it. So that's probably one of the other cons of this method. But if you use my method of putting your teas on this side and your bowls of hot water on this side or vice versa, and then just putting your uh, herbs on either side and just clicking from left to right, you usually won't mess up. So there's that. So the total, the total cost of the supplies to make these Guthix Rest 4 potions was 14,588 GP. And if I subtract that from the total I got, I got around 7,493 GP profit for around 80 seconds of work. Now I'm not Bodhi, so I can't really click that fast, but I'm sure if you're really efficient and you're really good at peaking and you can get those really good switches, you can get 14 of these done in maybe a minute, maybe a little bit over, and then I'll maximize your profits. However, at my current skill of clicking, doing this for one hour, I would get 334,000 GP per hour. In one hour, you'd also get 37,800 Herbler experience, and if you were better at clicking, you could get upwards to 40,000 Herbler experience per hour. I know that's not the best Herbler experience per hour, but when you're making 8.85 GP per XP, and you're doing a buyable skill, I think that's really worth it. The obvious pro of this method of training Herbler is how much GP you get. You get 8.85 GP per XP, which is a fuck ton for Herblore, and that's really good for training Herblore, because usually you're losing money training Herblore. You can train with uh, energy potions, but you'd be losing a lot, and you'd only be getting around 30,000 more experience per hour, or you could train with Guthix Restes and make 350,000 GP per hour while still getting a decent amount of experience per hour. Not to mention how easy it is to actually unlock this method of training Herblore. You only need some really low base skills, and the only hard part about getting this unlocked is doing one small favor, which is a tax, but it's worth it in the end. 
Now the biggest con of this method is how click intensive it is. But if you have the time and you want to make a lot of money training Herblore, this is probably the best way to do it. Well friends, I hope you guys find this guide very helpful to you, and I hope you can use it to train your Herblore, or to get that GP, or to do both at the same time. Take it easy guys.